Hello and welcome to the Forstronics YouTube channel and blog. Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to build an Android app to communicate with an HC06 Bluetooth module. For this tutorial, we're going to assume that you have a basic understanding of Arduino, and also we're going to assume you have an HC06 that you took right out of the box and you didn't change any settings on it or anything yet. Let's get started. So on the left, I have a schematic of the setup. I have an Arduino Uno. You can use an Arduino Uno or equivalent. I have the HC06, and you can see my connections. I added an LED with a 300 ohm resistor to limit the current. So basically what I'm going to do with the Android app, or the Android app that we're going to build, is we're going to communicate with the Arduino and tell it to turn the LED on and off. Uh, last thing to note is I also have a voltage divider. So the voltage divider is used because the Arduino Uno is 5 volt logic and the HC06 is 3.3 logic, 3.3 volt logic. So we want to make sure we don't damage it, so I have the voltage divider in there. Okay, let's take a look at the code. First we're going to take a look at the Arduino code, then we're going to take a look at the Android app code, and I built the Android app with the MIT App Inventor 2. Okay, here's the Arduino code. As you can see, I'm using pin 7, so I create a variable to hold a 7. You could also use pin 13, because the Uno already has an LED there, so if you don't want to use an outside LED, I decided to use an outside LED because it's easier to see for this tutorial. I start my serial communication because I'm going to communicate with the HC06 via serial, because that is a Bluetooth device that that basically creates a wireless serial connection with another device. Okay, I set my pinned output, I turn it to low so the LED starts out off. If we go into the main loop, I create a string. I then check the serial communication buffer to see if any bytes are available. If there is, I grab the bytes and I put them into the string. I then check to make sure the string is not empty and if it's not, then I check to see if it has an on. If it has an on, that means the Android device has told me to turn on the LED, so I set pin 7 to high. And then I also, to show, because in this tutorial I want to show two-way communication, so I get command from the Android device, and then I send back this string, which I'll display on the Android device, which says the LED is on. So we have the two-way communication. Now, if the string says off, I know to turn the LED off. Okay, let's take a look at the Android code. Okay, here you're looking at the MIT App Inventor interface, and what we're looking at here is the UI, or the user interface design of the app. So here is going to be the interface of the app. This button here will bring up a list of Bluetooth addresses. We'll pick the one we want to connect to, in this case the HC06. Once we do that, we can check this checkbox to turn the LED to tell the Arduino to turn the LED on or off. If the box is checked, turn the LED on. If it's off, turn the LED. If it's not checked, turn the LED off. And then I'm going to read back the Arduino's response and put it in this text box. And then I have my disconnect button. So now we're going to see these, these elements in the code section. This is going to generate my list. So this is going to make a list of all my paired Bluetooth devices. So we'll see the address of the HC06. If we select that address, then this code is called. And what this will do is connect to that address that we've chosen. And if our connection is successful, we'll call this function. And I'll show you what this function does. Uh, App Inventor calls, calls this a procedure, but I'll say function. Uh, and then I'll set my label to connected. So this function right here is this code right here. So what this will do is it's going to immediately check the status of the checkbox. And if the checkbox is checked, it's going to use over the Bluetooth connection, it's going to send the text on. And if the Arduino gets that, it knows to turn the LED on. It's then going to read back the response because this, this is a send and then this is a read. And I know the response is nine bytes, so I'll read back the re nine byte response. If the LED box is not checked, it's going to send an off and that's going to tell the Arduino to turn the LED off and then it's going to read back the response. The response in this case has 10 bytes and then it's going to display it in the text box. This piece of code is called whenever the state of the checkbox is changed. 
So what, what happens here, as long as that we're connected to Bluetooth, so it checks to make sure there's a connection to Bluetooth, and if there is, it calls our function. It calls this function, and then it says, if the checkbox is checked, tell the Arduino. If it's not checked, tell the Arduino to turn the LED off. And then the last piece of code for this simple app is the disconnect button. So if I press the disconnect button, I disconnect from the Bluetooth connection, and then I set my label to disconnected. So a nice simple program to easily uh, communicate with an Arduino over Bluetooth. And if you want this code, I'm going to show you at the end of this video uh, a link where you can download it. And if you're trying this for the first time, there's plenty of easy to use tutorials uh, if you want to start there and then look at this code. Okay, let's see our app in action. Okay, here's a video I took of the app in action and, and the uh, Arduino setup with the HC06. Uh, the HC06 is here and the LED, the green LED is right around here. And this of course is the app on an Android tablet. So I'm gonna zoom in a little, you can see the LED there. I'm first gonna press the choose address and that's gonna give me a list of addresses. There's the HC06, I press it. The app connects, I know it's connected because it says connected there. You then can see the LED, if I press the checkbox, the LED turns on. If I deselect the checkbox, the LED turns off. Now notice that I read back the status here. So the, the Arduino, after I turn the LED on or off, the Arduino sends this back over Bluetooth and the app reads it in and displays it here in the text box. The LED's on, it's off, it's on, it's off. Now I'm going to uh, disconnect. So when I press disconnect, notice this red LED starts flashing, that's the HC06. And when you disconnect from the HC06, the LED flashes, and when you're connected to it, the LED goes solid. Okay, well there's our example setup with the HC06 and an Arduino, along with the Android app that we built, uh, communicating over Bluetooth with the HC06 to the Arduino. Here's some quick notes to keep in mind. You must first pair the Bluetooth module with your Android device. So if you don't do this, you won't see the Android, excuse me, you won't see the HC06 Bluetooth address in that address list. So you go into your uh, Android device settings and you'll see a Bluetooth setting and, and there you're going to want to search for your Bluetooth addresses and pair with the HC06. And then also if you're pairing with the HC06 for the first time, it's going to ask for a passcode, a security passcode. The default passcode is 1234. Very original. Okay, that will conclude it. If you want to access the Android code to load into App Inventor uh, and, and to, to try it yourself, use this link. It basically takes you to my Dropbox public folder. Subscribe to the Fortronics YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And thank you for watching.